in a moment, I'm going to give the mic to Alu, and he's going to run um, the festivities for the seniors. Just a couple of things before. Uh, one, we have a little something here from a large group of parents for the lady who I happen to be related to. She doesn't like to admit that. But it takes all the photos at all the sporting events all the way around. Hazen Parish, we ask that you come meet us at half court. 
to come down and meet us at half court. First senior we'd like to recognize is number four, Jaden Baker. Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School. Your Hazen Union varsity boys in action tonight against the Randolph Galloping Ghosts. Last game of the regular season, senior night. Celebrating our seniors. Faisal, Al, Nasser, Jaden Baker, Tyler Rebard, and Lincoln Mitchell. All on the floor along with the X-Man. Tip. There it goes. X with the ball. Dish inside. Lincoln looking inside for Tyler. Tyler takes a short shot, short. Baker going for the rebound. There's a fight over there on the other side. Battle for the ball. Hazen will retain. X on the inbounds, gets it back, deep inside. Tyler doing what he does best, working inside off the glass, Get rebound. Hazen retains possession. Randolph with the steal. Watching Hazen Wildcat basketball on HCTV channel 1080 on the cable that streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Ethan Davignon putting the ghost on the board. Three zip sponsors tonight. And that was the butcher, the baker, the shot maker, Jaden Baker. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Packed house here at the Den tonight for this one. Faisal. Puts one up. I've seen him make him. He can do it. X with the steal, trying to keep it in. Trio of officials out here tonight. We've got Clyde Cook, Don Taylor, and I think it was Jason Kennedy was the name I read off. Yes, Jason Kennedy. Randolph, short shot, doesn't go, rebound. Tip back out, X, pushing. Wants to go coast to coast. A little short, Tyler underneath for the rebound. Nope, stolen away. You don't see that happen very often. Gonna have a jump ball. As him and Chase Higgins were going at it underneath there. Referee Don Taylor standing right there. Don's a veteran official. Randolph bringing the ball up. Davignon gets it over. 
to Hanford. There's a shot, no good. I think it was Marcus White with that shot, if I'm seeing the number correctly. 6.29 left to go here in the first. Just starting the game off. Catch trail by one. Baker on the outside. X, wide open for the three. Short. Rebound, Lincoln Mitchell, the Prez. Gives it back to the Butcher, the Baker, not the three-point maker right there. Chase Higgins. Dish it off. Hanford underneath. Fordham. Back to Hanford, back to Fordham. Randolph team is quick. Very quick. This game, of course, uh, postponed from last night at Storm. We had a power outage up here and everything else. I mean, we'd have played because they got generators here. Short shot. Nothing but net for Ben Hanford. So, uh, I mean, we could have played it with the generator and all, but it uh, would have been kind of nasty. Randolph's got a long trip up. The roads weren't great, so we'll line them up, play them tonight. Hazen coming in with a record of 16-3. and three. Turn, shot, no good. Rebound, Randolph. The Prez playing some D against Marcus White. Here on the near side, Chase Higgins passes over Fordham. Back to Higgins. Fordham once again. Here's Higgins. Randolph looking to see if they can penetrate this defense somehow. Wear it down. Almost got the steal there. White backs in. Tries to throw one up over the press. Doesn't go. Rebound. Rivard. Tyler. Shot and the foul. Randolph Faithful wanted a charge. Tyler gets a shot and the foul. They're banging out here already. Foul called on Ben Hanford. Faisal Al Nazer. Nazer, sorry. Faisal Al Nazer. Getting a start tonight for his senior night. Tyler completes a three point play, makes it a 5 5 game. 4-10 left to go in the first. Good action here from the Den so far. They're, uh, they're banging out here. Tyler cuts in front of that pace. Pass. Brings it up. He wants to maybe thinking about going coast to coast. He's going to pass off. X free for the three-pointer. In and out. Tyler down underneath for the rebound. Ball still plinking around down there in between legs. And... We're going to have, uh, I think, in the end, they called a... Jump, maybe. And possession arrow gives the ball to the Wildcats. Tyler, turn around. No place to go. They got bodies on him in there. Not going to give him anything easy tonight, that's for sure. Foul called on uh, Hanford. Baker. The Butcher, the Baker, the three-point maker. Five points for Jaden Baker. 8-5, your score. Had a nice ceremony before the game honoring uh, our seniors, of course. We also honored Mike Baker, who's retiring after 23 years of coaching. JV, assisting on varsity. Mike, the man, Baker, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Turn around. Ben Hanford, four points for the junior. Cats one-point lead. X, short floater goes. The X man. 10-7, three point lead for the Cats. 3.05 left to go in the first. Hanford on the outside. Got Brendan Moody in there now to contend with. Gets it over to Fordham. 
That is Higgins, throws up a long one, doesn't go. Rebound for the Prez. They're going to have the Prez for a forearm shiver underneath there on Marcus White. Hanford comes out, uh, Shea Fontella goes in. Fontella makes his presence known right off, throws up a shot, doesn't drop. Jason down over there in the corner. Prez beat Fordham in. Here's X. Throws it up, doesn't go. Shot, and the foul. The X-Man. Tyler almost, I think they put a called interference if he'd have touched it. Going for the tie slam of Gemma. X at the line, looking to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. X-Man, five points. Six-point lead for the Cats. 2.35 left to go in the first. As Fontella dips inside, loses the handle. Bodies on the floor, bodies getting up. X working on Fontana, turn around. Baker looks inside, nothing there. Gets it back out to the press. Here's X man. Uh, nice, nice anticipation right there by Higgins. Unfortunately, couldn't get the layup to go, but nice anticipation on the pass. Got a breakaway. Baker can't get it to go. Rebound, Revard. Baker comes back out, dips it out. Moody's going to take a three. Doesn't go. Rebound Fordham. Up here to Fontella. Over in the corner, Higgins. X on him. Nice pass inside, but he couldn't quite get there. Beautiful pass. He's in defense all over it, though. There's a pass. Rebound gets hacked. Foul called on Shea Fontella, his first. Rebound at the line, shooting two. It was way back Wednesday, December 14th. We beat Randolph 84-32 in the opening round of the Dave Morse Classic as Rebard makes that one good. And then we traveled to Randolph on Monday, January 30th, 162-35 down there. But uh, so far this game, I think it's gonna be a little bit closer. Rebard makes them both. Once again, folks, you kids out there, make free throws. They all count towards that 1,000 that Tyler scored here a little while ago. Just the ones are as big as the twos. Pass back, Higgins. Over to Fontella. Fontella's going to launch a three. Off the rim, rebound. Tyler, rebound. X, three-pointer. X-man, Cats lighting it up now. 18-7. One minute left to go. 101 left to go, actually, in the first. I'm going to call X for a hand check or something. I believe that's Clyde Cook. I think the taller referee out here is Clyde. And I think Kennedy's on our side here. And, of course, Don is over in the corner there with the ball. Cats press. Fontella trying to break it. Ghosts get it across the line. Broken up. Fifty-one point four left. Rivard, turn around. Foul called on Matt McHugh. Oh no, that's uh, Colton Fordham. Colton Fordham, they called it on.
Tyler continues to sink his free throws. He's got four points tonight just on free throws. Count his field goal, and he's up to six. Off on that one. Rebound. Mitchell back out. Baker's going to take a three off the rim. Rebound. Tyler trying to go up. He's got four blue jerseys on him. Four blue jerseys right there. Foul called on Fordham. X and the Prez standing at the foul line. Here's X. Takes a three. In and out. Rebound. Shot taken off. Going for the rebound once again. That was Dabignon putting up that. X to Moody. Can't get it. Revired up for the rebound. Every time Tyler moves inside, man, he's got nothing but blue around him. Kind of surround and drown. Fontella with a nice shot. Makes it 19-9, and that'll end the first fast-paced action here. Rock'em, sock'em basketball from the den. It is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading by a score of 19-9 currently over the Randolph Galloping Ghosts. Our senior night here tonight. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera. Gabe here for moral support. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. So once again, this is the final um, game of, of the regular season. Uh, Cats come in on a four-game win streak. Uh, they beat Thetford and Lamoille here at home, went on the road to Lake Region and Williamstown, won both those games. Just looking to uh, close out the season with a win, see how they seed out, and we'll have playoffs here. We're going to have a minimum of one game next week from the Den for the boys. Girls won their playoff game the other night against Winooski. They will play tomorrow, Saturday the 25th, against uh, Oxbow. Tip-off at 2 p.m. And we're going to get ready for second quarter action here. Come on, guys, let's go. Randolph without their uh, regular coach, Jeremy Rilling. He couldn't be here tonight. Dylan Jacobs filling in, the assistant. Joey Ferris in for Randolph now. The man with the golden mullet. He can, him and uh, oh, uh, Elliot Rosenthal could battle it out for best mullet. If Elliot were playing basketball. I'm sure he's in here tonight. He usually is. Looking inside. Morgan Mitchett in. X going to take a long three. Launch that one. Nope. Rebound, Davignon. Inside, he was wide open. Wide open. Marcus White was wide open. Couldn't handle the pass. X trying to work inside. Ghost playing some really physical D out here tonight. I can't remember if I've seen the boys go up against a defense quite as rugged as this one is so far. In the corner. That's Marcus White. Gets it back out. Ferris over to Fontella. Inside, turnaround, shot, doesn't drop. Gets it back. Marcus White can't get the drop, to sh the shot to drop, but it'll go to the foul line, shooting two. Come in, Marcus. Foul called on Xavier Hill, his second. Short. The Preds goes back in. Xavier Hill going to get a little break here. Off on that one. Rebound, Rivard. Morgan Mitchell stepped on the line. Oh, no, they called a foul. They called a foul on Ethan Davignon. I thought he stepped on the line over there. Donnie Taylor. Blows his whistle, and Randolph's up to in the bonus already, so we're going to shoot one and ones. 
6.57 left to go in the second quarter. Hazen with just three team fouls. Morgan hits the front end of the one and one. Justin Morgan had a horse. Good on his second one as well. Oh wait, that's Gabe, sorry, Gabe. Gabe the Big Blue Ox, I, am, I, I apologize to both Gabe and Morgan for that egregious error. Gabe mentioned and just made those two foul shots and he's been playing, not, not Morgan. Gabe the Big Blue Ox. Fontella, long three, doesn't go, rebound, rebound. Tyler has just been rewriting the, the record book for rebounds. Career, game, season, you name it. Uh, if it comes to rebounds, rebound has got it. Brendan Moody gets it over to Baker. Baker wanted to pop the short one inside the press. That one's off. And coming down with the rebound is Chase Higgins. He is, Tyler Rivard is the true chairman of the boards when it comes to Hazen rebounding. Scored 1,000 points. Excellent free throw shooter. Great defense. Does it all. That's, that's my memories of Tyler as, as a senior. Just an all-around fantastic player who did it all. I'll pass on my memories of some of the other seniors as we get time throughout this game. Little Brendan Moody. Off. And they're going to give the ball to Hazen. Randolph wanted the... Jason Kennedy having some words with the Randolph fans. Tell them to calm it down. Referee's looking to see his back control in this game right off. Moody. Over to Baker. Moody looking for something. Gets it over Baker. Gabe Mitchell on the inside off the glass. Gabe Mitchell. Fontella takes a wild shot. Rebound, rebound. Cats up 23-9. Five minutes left to go here in a second. Baker takes him just inside the foul line. Butcher, the Baker, the shot maker. And Coach Dylan Jacobs wants a timeout. Talking's over. The Cats have kind of shut down Randolph right now here in the second. With 4.56 left to go here in the second. Hazen with a 25-9 lead over the Randolph Galloping Ghost. Let's see, Jaden Baker. Oh, man, I remember this kid when he was like at, you know, in Harvick sixth grade elementary school tournaments and stuff. Uh, could come in and could just shoot the daylights out of the ball. Um, great defender. Despite the fact that I've probably seen, and this is not a knock, that I've probably seen Jaden foul out of more games than any other player that I've witnessed up here. He keeps a cool head about it all, though. You know, you, you never see him get rattled. I've never seen him get mad. I've never seen him do anything that I considered to be, like, overly offensive, you know. Um, he just commits a lot of fouls. Uh, plays tough. Plays tough. But <laughs> yeah. Great and a great kid, great all-around kid. I have some I have some bio stuff too in the uh, program that I'll read. Get for everybody. Moody, right in front of that one, gets it over. Mitchid to Baker. Tyler underneath, reverse tries to reverse, can't get it. Gets his own rebound. Going to go back up again, and he got hacked. Davignon, going to get two shots. They're calling for the uh, forearm shiver. Rebard. I believe he's five out of six from the free throw line. I got him down for five points from free throw lines unofficially. Seven points overall. That one looks short, yep. Rebound, Randolph. Here's Ferris. Oh 
Gets back. Davignon. Baker on him. Ferris thought about taking a long three. We're here on the near side. Marcus White working against Tyler. Gets it back to Ferris. Ferris cross court. Is that Higgins? I think it's Higgins. He pitches back. Fontella takes a three and makes a three. Only shot you don't make is the one you don't take. Five points for the junior. Makes it 26-12. Gabe Mitchell back over. Here's Jaden Baker. Tips inside. Tyler goes up, gets his own rebound. Turns around, goes up again. <laughs> foul called on Marcus White. It'll be double bonus time here with another foul. He's going to shoot two anyway because it was in the act of shooting. But uh, Tyler knew that one the minute he let it go. 3.36 left to go here in the first half. Cats up 26-12. Tyler. Eight points. Six of them on free throws. Ferris inside. Nice pass over. Higgins freed up. Hits a three. Chase Higgins, his first points of the night. 27 15. 320 left to go here in the first half. Looking for Tyler inside. Tyler puts up the short shot. Does go rebound. Going to go up again. Foul called on Higgins. Fifteen, your score. Three or four left. Tyler lines up for another free throw. Gets the roll. Shaquille O'Neal, Tyler is not. That is for sure. But they kind of playing hack a shack underneath there. Fontella, turnaround, floater, good ball. Shea Fontella, seven points. Moody, wide open for the three. Brendan off on his threes. And I believe they're gonna call the Prez. Oh, they're gonna call Xavier. Wait, they're gonna... Oh, the foul called on Marcus White. Gonna send Tyler to the line. Um, I'm getting a little scared to be up here with this Randolph crowd right now. Not, it's a little scary. Tyler at the line. Yeah, I called. I said X had a foul. He's sitting on the bench. That's how rattled I am right now. Ryan, the little lion, goes in. Lincoln Mitchell uh, coming out. Yeah, I'm rattled. Short on that one. Tyler gets a rebound. Turn around. Pitches over. Ryan, the little lion, inside. Tries to go up again. Still trying to go. Pass back. Gabe Mitchell going inside. Foul called on Ben Hanford. His third. And it will be Gabe Mitchell at the line shooting two. Mitch it short on his first one. Second shot, good. Five points and a 30 to 17 lead for the Cats in a game that is, I don't know, I have no comment.
Ferris on the inbounds. Gets it in. Pass broken up. Turn around. And he tried to get the scoop. Ethan Davidon. <laughs> nice reverse. It's a 30 to 19. Jump ball. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Cats with 2.05 left to go in the first half. <clears throat> Baker on the inbounds. Tyler ends up in the back out. Revert pitches it over. <clears throat> and taken away by Davignon. And Baker trying to tip it. Davignon keeps it. They're going to call him Moody on a block. Gonna send Dabbing on to the line, shooting two. Let's see uh, what I got here in the program for the Prez. Lincoln mentioned how long you've been playing since I was five years old. What do you like to do in your free time? You like to be on a farm with cows while also doing crop work. His favorite basketball memories: a championship game from last year. So Dabbing on is off on his first free throw. Plans after he graduates: he wants to attend Cornell University, graduate with a degree in animal science, and come back home to work on the farm. Favorite subject in school is biology. Marcus White comes out. Davignon, good on his second one. Six points for Ethan Davignon and a 10 point lead for the Cats. Goes chipping away a little bit. 145, let's go in the first half. Ryan the Little Lion way outside. Gabe inside. Ryan, turn around. Ryan Morrison, two points, 32 20. Ryan the Little Lion. Fontella brings it back out. 119 left. First half. Fontella. Wheels and deals, fiddles and diddles. Brendan Moody right on him. He's got to go somewhere now. Gets it back to Davignon. Davignon. Let's go inside against Baker. And not ready and couldn't handle the pass was Chase Higgins. As Sully LaFlemme checks in. Moody out. Here's Baker. Over to Morrison. Back to Baker. Gabe Mitchin. Laflem over to Jaden Baker. Working on Fontella. Cats. Happy to take some time off the clock here. Down to about oh, 35 seconds or so. 12 point lead. Swinging it around. Mitchin inside. Gabe Mitchin. Seven points for the junior. Gabe Mitchin. Gabriel Mitchin. Gabe the big blue ox. Uh, down to about 10 seconds. Higgins on the outside. Throws up a shot. Chase Higgins made two three pointers tonight. It's a 34 to 23. Morrison up underneath. Can't quite get it there. He come up short on that one. He was kind of off balance. Revard with a turnaround. And it counts. Tyler Revard, we saw him do it in the last game. A generational talent right here. That's all I'm going to say. Generational talent right there is Tyler Revard. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www w.hctv.us our sponsors tonight Buffalo Mountain Power Sports 472-5522 we support Hayes and Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center gmtcc.lnsd.org we've reached the halftime of this game with your Hayes and Union Wildcats up by a score of 36-23 Lance Hall with the call Danny on camera Gabe here on uh, moral support possible protection we'll be back at the start of the second half and one minute away from the start of the second half, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Danny on camera, Gabe, our bodyguard for tonight. Hazen leading by a score of 36-23 to 23 on senior night over the Randolph Galloping Ghost. Celebrated our four seniors, Faisal Al Nazar, Jaden Baker, Tyler Reverd and Lincoln Mitchin. Also Mike Baker, longtime assistant coach, retiring after the season. We will have more basketball. We'll see him. 
at the end of the uh, half, first half, Jaden Baker was seven, Xavier Hill with five, Tyler Rivard with 11, Gabe Mitchell with seven, Ryan Morrison with two. I got Chase Higgins with six, uh, Ethan Diving Young with six, Ben Hanford with four, and Shea Fontella with seven. All incredibly unofficial. Uh, bottom line is Hazen leads by a score of 36 to 23. We will play this game and then wait to see how seedings come out. And Tyler draws the foul and right off. Third foul called on Ethan Davignon. Uh, Xavier Hill brings it up. Dip inside, looking for Tyler on the inside. Wasn't ready for it. Higgins over Davignon. Ben Hanford working a nice spin around on Moody. Throws it up short. Rebound the Prez. Lincoln Mitchell gets over to the X-Man. Saw Moody take a bunch of threes, not make them in the first half. Kind of uncharacteristic for Ben. Usually he's deadly from three-point three, three point land, but so far tonight, uh, I don't have him scoring at all. Drive inside, throws up the short shot, still doesn't put himself on the board. And Brendan's going to draw a foul. Uh, our other seniors, let's see, Jaden Baker, this is from our program. Uh, how long have you been playing? Since I could walk. Uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Hunt fish, hang out with friends. Favorite basketball member is playing with his brother Isaiah as Shea Fontella checks in and Ben Hanford will come out. <coughs> Plans, uh, what do you plan to do after you graduate? Continue with electrical work. And what is your favorite subject in school? Study hall. Avignon, pass inside. He was looking inside for Fordham, but the press blocked him out. Fontella takes a long shot. Fordham battling for the rebound. Up with it comes Rivard over to the X-Man. X-Man was looking for Jaden Baker cross, but I think uh, Fordham got a hand on that. Baker, short shot off the glass. The butcher, the baker, the shot maker. Makes it 38-23. 15 point lead for the Cats. Looking to push their record to 17-3 and, and get ready for the playoffs next week. Make another trip, defend their title. Current reigning, defending Division Three champions of Vermont. Here's Moody, X. Drops it to the press, swings it over to Jaden Baker. Rebard playing on the outside. Lincoln tried to set a screen. Higgins stayed right with Moody. Moody tries it on the inside, comes up short. Lincoln tried to get the rebound. Fontella is going to come up with it in the end. Fontella working on X. Throws up a shot. Doesn't drop. Rebound. Rebound. Just adding to his totals. Prez inside. Draws the foul. Foul called on Ethan Davignon. That's his fourth. With 5.05 left to go here in the third. And that'll send the Prez to the line. Shooting two. Lincoln Mitchell, his first points of the game. And that's my memories of Lincoln. You know, you, you don't see a whole lot of, of scoring a whole lot of points out of Lincoln. You, every once in a while, you know, he'll get a little burst and stuff. But Lincoln is the lunch. He brings his lunch pail with him. And he works every game. From the opening tip to the ending buzzer, he's out there defending, rebounding, Shooting, you see him go against the tough guys. Oh, 
one of those guys that does stuff like that that doesn't show up in the stat sheets is what uh, what Lincoln Mitchell has brought to this team during his time on it. And I saw Elliot Rosenthal in, at halftime, much to my chagrin, he has cut off his mullet. So Joey Ferris right now has is, is the mullet man right here at the den tonight. Five second call. He's in D playing tough. 439 left to go here in the third. Cats up 40 to 23. Gabe Mitchett back. Lincoln over to X. X takes a long three-pointer off the rim. Go, Marcus. Marcus White with the rebound. Ferris. Joey Ferris, a freshman. Chase Higgins. Higgins with Gabe Mitchett on him. Back to Ferris. X. Going to call a foul on Lincoln as he got a little handy over there with Marcus White. Second foul for the Prez. Fordham corrals that one down. Wanted to hand it off to Shea, but defense was too tough. And X couldn't quite get the handle on it. He'd like that one over back to have over again. That's what I'm saying. Back over. Three thirty left to go in the third. Seventeen point lead for your Asian Union Wildcats. Friday night at the Den. Turn around. Fontella can't get it to go. Rebound up for the rebound. Fights off Fordham for it. Here's X. Pass over. Gabe Mitchell wants to dip underneath. Can't quite get it. Got the rebound. Going to go up again. Still nothing there. I'm going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow will give the ball to the Cats. Fontella called for the foul. His second foul. Third team foul for the Gallup and Ghosts. Hazen with two. Rivard inside with Fordham on him. Rivard's going to go inside. Blocked out by Fordham. Don't see that happen very often. Fordham with a block. On Tyler Rivard. Ferris. Throws up a circus shot, doesn't go. Here's Baker. Fontella just ran into a screen set by Lincoln Mitchett. Like running into a wall out there. Lincoln, Mitchell back over. Tyler on the outside. Tyler's going to take a three. Doesn't go. Higgins inside. Blocking foul called on Gabe Mitchell. Two oh nine left to go in the third. No scoring here for either team here for a while. We've been at 40-23 for a couple of minutes now. Ferris on the inbounds. Nice pass in. White.
Trying to turn around against the press. Randolph set it up, try again. Ferris, way back to Higgins. Higgins on the outside, direct in traffic. Ferris, trying to go inside. Mitchett right there, gets it back. White. Porter Ferris once again, X-Man out on Ferris. Fontella wants to go inside. Three white jerseys right there, Fordham. Off, rebound, oh, taken down by Randolph. They get another chance out of here with 125 left to go into third. Nobody wants to score points, I guess. Higgins checking his hairdo. Taken away, Tyler Rebard. And are we going to see it? No, oh, I couldn't get it. Mitchell there for the follow-up. Hoping for the tie slam jamma That was his opportunity. Nice backup, though, by Gabe Mitchin. Let me give him his points. Fifty seconds left to go here in a third. Here's X. Puts up a shot against everybody. Rebound. Rebard. Goes up pretty darn close to a tie slammer jamma. 44-23. Points on the board for the Cats. Fordham with Rivard on him. Ferris comes back out. 20 seconds. Trying to keep him outside. Tyler. Will that happen again? I uh, can't quite get it. Tyler. Off on his tie slam pajama tonight. <laughs> it's the end of the season. He's tired. He doesn't have the legs he had. Ferris blocks that one out. Two seconds, gonna have to throw one up. Mitchell, don't go, no. And at the end of three, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading by a score of 44-23 over the Randolph Galloping Ghosts. Lance on with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsor tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Danny on camera, Gabe along for moral support. Uh, one more senior I can read about, Faisal Al Nazar. He's been playing since the fourth grade. In his free time, he likes to play video games and hang out with friends and family. His favorite basketball memory is when I made it in the newspaper for the final point in the game. I remember that game. It was over in Danville. Um, he threw up that shot. I was sitting right behind where he shot that from, and I didn't think that shot had a prayer. And somehow it went in, and <laughs> it, was, it was a great, great moment. Uh, what do you plan to do after gra after you graduate? He's going to go to welding school. His favorite subject in school is welding. Great kid. Love Faisal. Thrilled to call his name tonight for starting. Getting getting the start tonight for senior night is really, really cool. Fun trivia for tonight. It was on this day in 1975 that Led Zeppelin re released their double album Physical Graffiti. Which, of course, gave us Cashmere, which, if anyone that's here, is the boys' music bed for intros. Is Led Zeppelin Cashmere. Released on this day, Physical Graffiti, 1975. Double album. Fantastic album by Zeppelin. So we got 7.40 left to go in the game. Cats up 44-23. Inside, Rivard 
Back out, X wide open, swings it over to Baker. Baker's gonna take a three, make a three. The Butcher, the Baker, the three-point maker. Second three-pointer second three pointer of the game. He's got uh, 12 points. Inside, White. We're gonna go inside the Prez right there. He's not gonna go inside against the Prez. Broken up by Baker, back to White. White pitches over on the far side, Fordham. Tyler on him. Higgins. Goes in of Gunch and bunch of Gunch of guys. Ferris puts up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound by the Prez. X-Man comes up with it. Cats, X, floater, doesn't go. Tip in. Rebard. 15 points for Tyler. I think he's averaging like 25. Randolph throws it away. 6.31 left to go. Uh, we got Ethan Davignon and Shea Fontella checking in. Chase Higgins and Marcus White is going to come out. 6.30 left to go in your ball game. Cats up 49-23. Here's Baker. Dishes off. X. Tyler. <laughs> back pass. Baker off the glass. Baker with a rebound. Brings it back out. X from the foul line. Nothing but net for Xavier Hill. I heard a whistle. So they give, uh, they give X a shot. Right, because it's 51-23 now. And we get possession? Okay. Tyler, inside, loses the handle. Fordham got a hand on it. Tyler with the body, first foul. 6-1 left, 51-23 your score. Ferris on the inbounds. Hanford spins inside. Baker on him. Takes a shot. Doesn't drop. X in there. Davignon creating a little havoc for X. Xavier Hill coast to coast. Doesn't get it to drop. Rebound to Prez. Over to Gabe Mitchett. Gabe muscles his way inside. Back out. X doesn't get the shot he wants. Cats playing a little keep away. Looking inside. Nice anticipation by Fontella. Nice hesitation. Couldn't get it to fall. Rebound Hazen, but nice anticipation. Nice hesitation by Fontella. Just going to get a shot to fall. Fontella maybe going to dump. We're going to have uh, Hanford. Hanford in there trying it. Foul called on Hanford. X is out. Lincoln comes out. 5.05 left to go in your ball game. Moody hands off to Baker. Here's Moody, short shot, in and out. Foul call as Tyler went up. Foul called on Ethan Davignon, that's his fifth. And looks like Connor Hurley is getting ready to check in as Davignon fouls out with 4.36 left to go in the ball game. Cats up 51-23. Davignon Jr.
rebound at the line. Sinks his free throw. Second one good. 17 points for Tyler Rebard. 4.30 left to go in the game. Cats up 53-23. And I am looking for the return of Faisal Al Nazar. Baker steals that one away. Mitchett, Gabe. Here's Ferris. I'll call it on Jaden Baker. And, you know, I talked about how I've seen Jaden foul out of more games than ever. With 4.05 left, that's Jaden's first foul. So, I don't know. <laughs> He's having a good game tonight. Short shots. That was number 22. I have no 22 on there as Brendan Moody just made a play down there. I was looking for a number 22 on my Randolph thing so I don't have a name to go with that so I'm just going to go with number 22. Moody at the free throw line. 3.53 left. Cats up 30. Still up 30. Rebound Randolph. There's number 22 with the ball. No, that, that's, a, no that's number 12. That's Hanford. Ferris throws up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound. Ryan, the little lion. Baker. Working against, there's number 22. Gabe. Over to Baker. Going inside. We gave Mitch a beautiful pass. Tyler Rivard. Beautiful pass. And yes, this crowd's going to pop in a minute with the next sub. Popping up big time. 3.05 left to go in the game. Cats up 57-25. And in checks, Faisal, Al, Nazar, Gabe Mitchell out. Faisal goes in. They're going to put him on Connor Hurley, and Faisal is going to be on this kid like a glove. Lincoln comes back in. Uh, Ryan the Little Lion goes out, and Blake Baker checks in for Randolph. 3 one left. Cats up 57-25. And we got all the seniors on the floor right now, along with Brendan Moody. we got our four, sen our four seniors. Number 22 throws up a shot, rebound, rebound, gets it over to Baker. Basil, dribble, shot. Off the, re off the rim, oh, I thought he had it. Faisal's going to put up another shot. Off the rim again. Rivard swinging it around. Basil, long shot, that's going to be short. Rebound, getting it back out again. Faisal puts up a shot off the rim. <laughs> He's trying. Higgins not that one away. It's going to be white ball. Basil's trying to get a hoop. Basil, three pointer, long. Chasing it down. Ferris going to come up with it. Randolph with the ball. 2.14 left. Foul called on Brendan Moody. Don Taylor rings him up. 2.01 left. Cats up 57.25. And we are going to have a mass substitution here at the next whistle. 
Tyler tried to anticipate that one. Messed up a shot just going by him. Short shot, Ben Hanford, six points. 150 left. Tyler, and there's the whistle. Foul called on number 22. And we're gonna see the subbing start here. Tyler, first shot, in and out. And the Prez, Lincoln Mitchin. Last regular season game coming off the floor as Ryan the Little Lion takes his place. Once again, a man who brings his lunchbox to every single game. Tyler Short on that one. 140 left. Ferris launches a three. In and out. Rebound, Rivard. 135 left. Basil puts one up. Off the rim. Doesn't go. Randolph down underneath. Number 22. Nice hesitation. Rivard with the rejection. Bodies going everywhere. And they're going to give. Uh, Ben Hanford, two shots. Tyler Rebard comes off. Sully Laflemme in. In goes. That one's short. I don't know what's happening here. They were trying to sub in. I don't really know what happened. Uh, Hanford was short on his first shot. 121 left. Cats up 57-27, so I'm going to say we'll push our record to 17-3. Uh, and three. <laughs> Referee Don Ta Taylor's called a technical. Too many men or something. I, there was a mix-up on that substitution. I don't really know. I have no clue what's going on here. Absolutely no clue. Shooting a foul. Uh, shooting a technical is Hanford. He makes his first one. Something to do with the way the substitution went down was what happened. It's the nearest I can figure. Hanford second shot. Good. Ben Hanford. Eight points. He's going to shoot another one. He's going to keep shooting. Made good on his free throws. Ben Hanford, the junior, and Randolph will get the ball. Tyler's going to come off now. Sully LaFlemme will go in. And we'll work on getting... Uh, and now in goes... There is Morgan Mitchell. That is Morgan. Jaden Baker. Coming off for the last time in a regular season game for your Hazen Union Wildcats as Morgan Mitchell has now checked in. And the pass goes under the hand of Connor Hurley. 115 left. 57-30. And they're looking to get Faisal a shot. And Hanford's not going to let him get it across. Go, ben. Line it up and try it again. 111 left. Still 57-30. Here's Faisal. Puts up a shot. Strong. Doesn't go. Joey Ferris brings it down. Pass up ahead. Hurley underneath. Blocked out. 
Ryan Morrison with the rejection. Ryan the Little Lion with one minute left. One minute left in your ball game. Knocked away by Moody. Harris on the inbounds, wide open, number 22. Throws up a shot, blocked down. Morgan Mitchett with the rebound, 53 seconds. Basil couldn't handle the pass. Randolph with the ball. Forty-seven seconds. Well, you know, I saw Faisal make one at the end of a game, so we get another shot. You know, we get a chance here. If they don't run the clock out on us. Anything can happen. Ferris, turnaround inside, blocked out. Going to call a foul on Moody. He's going to send Joey Ferris to the line. Brendan's fourth. So with thirty-two seconds left. Ferris rolls it in. Joey Ferris, his first points of the game. He's played tough. Played tough. 57-31, 32 seconds left. Rebound by Randolph and stepped out. So we got 29.7. Uh, we're shooting. Shooting one and once. Faisal. Gonna shoot. Crowd on its feet. Two shots. For Faisal Al Nazar. Not good on his first one. If he makes a shot, this crowd will pop. The roof will go off this place. Yeah! All right. Faisal Al Nazar with the free throw with 29.7 left. Makes it 58-31. That's a great, great moment. I love it. Love it. We're going to pull the ball. Put some shot. Oh! Oh, that would have been amazing. All right, play this out. Ferris puts up a three. In and out. Five seconds left. Going in for the rebound, number 22. We got three seconds. He's going to have to shoot quick. Quicker than that. And that's your ball game with your Hazen Union Wildcats beating the Randolph Gallup and Ghost by a score 58 to 31. Pushes their record to 17 to 3. We'll wait and see how the seedings come out for the playoffs next week. We will be here for coverage on that. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, WeSport, Hazen Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Danny on camera, uh, playoff girls tomorrow. Until then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.